Previously on the Sister Grow Your Own Summer Project. Hello everyone and welcome back to Grow Sisters Media, Sister Grow Your Own Summer Project. My name is Siobhan Danger Darwish, and today we are going to talk about some things to consider when choosing the location of your garden. I decided that it was in good choice to have my lovely cannabis garden on my deck and my vegetables in the yard. Should we go check on the vegetable garden? Taking into consideration the location of your garden is very important. Not only are we looking for the best sun, but we're also hoping to have easy access to this garden. Hey everyone, so this is our shade house. This is Willem. Hey there. And he and I have been mapping out the garden. He has been a huge help. One of the neighbors come together to grow more food for the other neighbors. What do you got? Uh, so I've got my big book of everything here. Um, so I got my planting log. I have just all my thoughts written out on another page and I've got a uh, Kind of the whole game plan right here. What do you think? Should we go look at it? Yeah. Cool. When choosing the location for your garden, definitely have the ability to put in fencing. This is by far one of the most important things that you will want to have to protect your garden. A south-facing garden receives the largest amount of sunlight as the sun passes overhead throughout the day. If possible, plant your garden on the south side of your property. If that's not possible, the second best option for you is to situate your garden on the east or west side of your property, as those directions also receive a large amount of light. Good soil is the foundation for a healthy garden. Soil provides access to nutrients, water, and air. Soil also stabilizes the plant's roots and assist the plants in natural resistance to pests and diseases. Stay tuned because we will be talking a lot about the soil web, living soil, and compost tea during this series. Make sure that your garden has ample amount of airflow. airflow and access to your garden are both really, really important things. And what I mean by access is, are you able to get to that garden to water it regularly? Then that drops me into water. Be sure that you have a spigot and a hose close at hand that you will be able to water that garden on a regular basis. So we've been getting some really rainy days, which is awesome and typical Humboldt fashion. And um, we have put in our salsa garden. So we've got our tomatoes and peppers. I am going to go ahead and transplant 
some other tomato plants that have been getting large in this greenhouse. And then within the next few days, we'll be putting on this plastic, just kind of letting it rain on everything and settle in. And hopefully the sun will be out soon and we can kick off summer. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Check out part two of Garden Location Consideration now. And please subscribe and know that your sisters love you. <laughs> Bye.